This video is about operations with polynomials, and we're still adding polynomials, except now we're going to add polynomials that have non-integer coefficients. So let's look at polynomials where we have fractions for coefficients, or maybe we could call these rational numbers. Okay, so we want to find the sum of these two polynomials, and this one is 3 fourths x squared plus 1 eighth x minus 1 third plus, and then this polynomial is 2 thirds x squared minus a half x minus 2 fifths. Okay, so I'm going to add them using the vertical method. So I'm going to write the first one out. So that's 3 fourths x squared plus 1 eighth x minus one third. And then I'm going to write the second polynomial underneath. I'm going to line it up so the like terms are underneath each other. And the first term is the two thirds x squared. Two thirds x squared minus one half x. And then the last term is minus two fifths. Okay. And I'm going to add plus. Okay. Now to add these, you're going to have to add fractions. And when you're adding fractions, unless you're really good at it, it's probably better to do a little work on the side just to make sure you got it right. So for instance, this first one, I want to add 3 fourths plus 2 thirds. And remember when you add fractions, they have to have a common denominator. Okay, so we got a 4, we got a 3, I'm thinking 12. Sounds like a good common denominator, so we're going to have something under 12 plus something under 12, okay. 4 times 3 is 12, so 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12, so 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, 9 plus 8, that's 17 twelfths. Okay, now you could, if you wanted to, you could write that as 1 and 5 twelfths, but when we're adding up our, our polynomials here, have you leave it like this rather than writing it as a mixed number like that. So we're not going to do that. We're going to use this. Okay, so we got this term that's 17 twelfths x squared. Okay, next we have 1 eighth minus 1 half. Okay, so I think the common denominator here is 8. So we already have an 8 here, so that's going to stay 1 eighth. And this is going to get an 8, and 2 times 4 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4. And then 1 minus 4, and that's negative 3 eighths. Now you could put the negative in the numerator, make it negative 3 over 8, but it's just the same thing to put the negative out front. It doesn't really matter. You can write it either way. Okay, so we got negative 3 eighths. Negative 3 eighths x. Okay, last one. Negative one-third minus two-fifths. Okay, negative one-third minus two-fifths. Let's see, common denominator between three and five is 15. Okay, so we're going to have something with a 15, something with a 15. Okay, three times five is 15. One times five is five. 5 times 3 is 15, 2 times 3 is 6, and then negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11, so that's negative 11 fifteenths. And that is the constant term, negative 11 fifteenths, and now I'm done.